Today we are watching a video from someone that we haven't actually watched in a while on this channel, I don't think. It's Mr. Steven Tries with... I just, I just, I can't speak. I can't, I flopped it. Steven Tries with I Joined Just Stop Oil. Life is so much easier when you read things slowly. I don't know why we rush. Just calm down, calma, tranquilo. The most controversial group in the UK. You might guess XL bullies, Turkish barbers, or the sidemen. I knew it! I knew it! I was waiting for it! You'd be wrong. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Very dropped us in there. Oh, we're not controversial, are we? We do some, some, some of us do some strange things. I want to say controversial. Countdown. But you'd be wrong. Turkish barbers. Or the sidemen when playing Countdown. Oh, when playing Countdown. Okay. You'd be wrong. Yeah, yeah. A few months ago, two YouTubers yeah. claimed to have stopped Just Stop Oil. But lo and behold, they're still blocking roads, spraying buildings, and disrupting more events than the Queen's death. Fly Yikes. high, babe. But do they need to be stopped? I'll be infiltrating their inner circle to find out what's really going on. Give me the news, Doc. I can see a lamp. So can I, you perv. So we're actually qualified to speak about climate change. And I've been recycling jugs for six years, and I've stopped using oil when cooking, as my partner claimed I was too heavy for missionary. Someone who I am coming face to face with is India and Guy. They may be non-violent, but my questions will certainly be hard-hitting. Just stop oil. Not even a please. Well, we're not asking for it. This is something that has to happen. So you're demanding change like an aggressive hobo? <laughs> this might be why people haven't warmed to you. Ditto. We want to be heard, not liked. That's the difference between us and politicians. OK, then. Um, let's imagine I'm someone who knows nothing about climate change. No, he's Duh. too funny. What would you say if I thought global warming was a good thing? <laughs> How can it possibly be a good thing? Some things are better when they're warm, you know, like um, Weetabix or a hand job. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, no. oh, yeah. yeah, big time. Drizzle a little bit of honey on top and you're in heaven, you know. I often have one before bed. Makes me feel cosy. What is he talking um, about? Weetabix well, or a hand job? Weetabix, that is. <laughs> what I'd say to you is, people think global warming is a problem for the future, but it's killing people right now. There's more flooding, less food growing, more diseases, and on top of it all, adding to the cost of living crisis. And the people in charge don't care because their greed outweighs the morals. I hear that. I hear that. Mm. What about people that love the smell of petrol? Are you really going to snatch that away from them? I love the smell what of petrol. Say to those people is that the problem isn't going anywhere. What was that? Really? Super glue. <laughs> whoop de do. You're not the first guy I've met with a sticky bum, believe me. These are the actions <laughs> we have to take so that people will take note. Is it? Spraying the side of buildings, tying yourself to a post, like a pair of big orange Labradors. But what's your solution? <laughs> Gandhi. He was a peaceful protester. Yeah, maybe swap your vandals for some sandals. Uh, my shoes nice. are made with 100% recycled materials. And they just stepped all over my wordplay. I think this is pretty peaceful. <sighs> Don't you? Yeah, I do. Right, interviews over. You've had your fun. Bugger off. I can't move. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh, oh. oh my God. Stephen! What do you want me to do? Pop me off! Oh, you don't mind my hands are cold. For a man so concerned about the environment, he certainly produced a lot of dangerous gases. On this channel, we're all about balance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm off to debate with Simon Berks! A man... A man who thinks climate change is a complete myth. You must be Simon, nice to meet you. How do, how do? Bloody roasted in here, isn't it? Yeah, I think the aircon's broken. You know, I've just had a meeting with two members of Just Stop Oil. Eh, yeah. not those hippy dumb blocking up the road. Something good on these people getting to their job. Yeah, I know what you mean. That a few weeks ago, me, I was driving home, and there was someone in high vis line in the road. I just lost it, you know? Pushed them out of the way with my car. Ugh, just Stop Oil. Well, that's what I thought. Uh, it turns out a lollipop lady had had a stroke. But I understand your frustration. <laughs> what are you complaining for? <laughs> Everyone loves it when it's warmer. I don't know, Simon. Some things can be too hot. Like what? Well, uh, a McDonald's apple pie or a bath. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been burnt by those. I remember sharing one with the granddad. I said, you're going to have to blow on that before I have a mouthful. <laughs> well, well, I think. The apple pie, <laughs> that is. Well, it's all just propaganda, isn't it? 
Wait, 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 what's going on? Blow on that before I have a mouthful. Well, well I think. The yeah. apple pie. Where did this shirt go? Well, it's all just propaganda, isn't it? These renewable energy companies trying to make a quick buck. Yet according to the WWF, oh, he's sweating. Solar power I get and it. onshore wind are the cheapest ways of generating he's electricity heating up and of global energy. Warming. What the frick does John Cena know about solar panels? My God, boy, I've got to you too. So you don't believe using fossil fuels adds to climate change? No chance. Where's your proof? Well, there is proof, Simon. There's data that shows Antarctica is losing 150 billion tons of ice per year. Losing ice? Tell the fucking Eskimos he's a pound a kilo down in Asda. Well, it's to God. <laughs> come on, Simon. We oh, both have a change come to on, before we have a mess in our hands. No! Too late for that. Simon's powerful words hit me hard. I knew it was now or never for me to join Just Up Oil. Psst, psst. Over here. Just Up Oil meetings are top secret. So I've spent three months developing this fake that persona got me. to ensure I won't be detected. I've also got hidden cameras, including this one here, cleverly disguised as a necklace. <laughs> so I was supposed to run on stage at a Jimmy Carr show, uh, but I had to leave after ten minutes. Did you get kicked out? No, 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 it was just really shit. I knew that was coming. Ellen? Can I help you? Um, yeah, you can actually. One of you lot sprayed my hair orange. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm here for the meeting. And what's your name? Um, Bernie. Bernie Planet. Okay, Bernie. Do you want to take a seat there next to hey, you? A GoPro necklace could slightly go hard, you know. It'd be a waste of money that on Jura, like, like if it has diamonds and shit. But it'll also look very cool. Who can I convince to spend money on a GoPro necklace? Hmm. We'll find someone. Okay. No, no, I'd rather take a stand against plastics. Right, and are you serious about supporting our cause? Oh yeah, I'm serious, yeah. I put the pro in protester. Who's Ollie? Hmm? <laughs> Your shirt says, just stop Ollie. Oh, friggin' thing. Well, like just stop dyslexic shirt makers. <laughs> When's that meeting? <laughs> why, why are you? Filming us. <laughs> Why would you even ask that? He's got the mic because next the, to it. The camera yeah. in your shirt. It's, it's a necklace. And uh, him over there. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. What do you think? I uh, even managed to soil myself. Where's the camera? <laughs> nice. Well, I didn't bring it. Cameras don't grow on trees, mate. You stupid sweats. That's enough. I cannot deal with this today. I quit. Well, hashtag me too. I can take the abuse of getting arrested, but this, this is the last straw. It'll be a paper straw. <laughs> <laughs> morons. Absolute fucking morons. It's prats like you two that give us a bad name. Wow, well, Hugo's talking about bad names now. <laughs> you <Hugo>. right. <laughs> leave it, Hugo. Not worth it. How did bro go from a right. punch to a slap? Oh, sorry, I hit my mic. Leave it, Hugo. Not worth it. You're lucky we're non-violent people. I don't know why we bother trying to save the planet when it is full of people like you. What do you mean by that? What do you want to do now? Leave it. Now we stop the oil. Sorry, I was making my own jokes. And that's when I remembered a conversation I'd overheard earlier. Yeah, it's my nephew's cup final on Sunday. Should be a good turnout. Really? Ryan, fetch the cable ties. We've got a match to interrupt. I was no stranger to protesting in sports. I once complained about a boxing match I lost because my opponent's wheelchair had run over my foot. <laughs> well, here we are, the day I changed the world. Call me Rosa Parks, or Rosa Astroturf in this case. Once this is on, it doesn't come off. Just stop oil, guys. Just stop oil, yeah? You hear me? Just stop it. Just stop it, yeah? What are you doing? Uh, saving the planet, mate. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, Come on, Pratt. Oh, no. Just stop oil. Just stop oil. Hey, where are you going? Full time. time, mate. Oh, shit. I thought he was gonna get hit Come in the face with a football. Hey! Hey! This was really bad. After having my pants pulled down in goal, I was worried I was going to be mistaken for Ben Foster. But then I found hope. <laughs> Lads, 
unnecessary Lance, could you dig. Get me off, please. Cycling GK. What? I'll give you a tenner if you get me off. That's crazy. Oh no. Quickly, quickly, please. Oh no. Oh no. Thank you. Oh, no, oh, no. Where is this tenner? It's it's just in my trouser pocket, but uh, I think you should help me first. I'm gagging here. It is it is so hard. Right, I. I'll grab his arm. You guys what? Go ahead. Don't you dare! Hey, just stop, Ollie! Just stop! I'll piss! I'll sick. piss! Here's that. Get back here! Do your side of the bargain! Well, there we have it. It turns out climate change is a very real issue. Why didn't you just get a camera man to help we don't act now, it's the younger generations that will face the consequences. I say good. They fucking deserve it. Play him on his left, guys! Dude, it's too funny, man. Too funny. The layers of jokes... Something else.